But that when, wasn't necessarily quicksand. It was, was quicksand. No, that was a swamp of sadness, and the horse got really sad. And the horse got so sad that it sunk into the swamp of sadness. It was not quicksand, Tisa. I've read the book three times. Oh, this woman. See, if it's anything about books, I can't argue with her. And if there's anything else outside of books, she can't argue with me. Because I'm a librarian. <laughs> I know everything. Uh-huh. Except about quicksand and the book of sadness. I was just wondering if there was a cultural phenomenon or something. No. Like, like zombies are, um, are, uh, the symbol behind zombies is like the popular belief in the belief that mainstream people all follow the same stupid idea. You should push play and then push stop because this thing is going to turn off. The TV. Oh. Just like, do do real quick we put we've been watching the resident so like we need to push and play and push stop because we don't want it to go into the regular tv that we're watching which is going to be food network but continued my love okay so zombies are that and i was i heard something somewhere that when you have democrats in office more popular um literature and more popular um tv and movies and everything are about vampires and when you have zombie or uh republicans in office it's all about zombies i have never heard that before i have heard that because vampires are like the rich and the elite and the people who live forever but then zombies are like mass hordes of people all following the same general idea so it's so, all political so republicans are vampires uh-huh, they because they suck the blood rich. out of the system they're Ooh, rich and they how about have that? all the loopholes. Let's move that. And it's like, it. everybody talks about tax cuts. That's not what we need. We don't need tax cuts. The rich are paying plenty. No, they're not. No. Let me finish. Yes, baby. I didn't finish. Yes, dear. We don't need tax cuts. We need to cut the loopholes. If we get rid of the loopholes, they will pay their fair share. What happens now is there's loopholes so they get out of the taxes that they owe. It is not cutting the taxes. It is they cutting the They only pay a certain... Like, I watched something the other day, and they only pay a certain percentage of no. money. So, like, it I was like... I have done taxes for people who are very wealthy, and they pay a shit ton. So, so they were like... It was a good example. Like, a million dollars, somebody pays... There's a certain cap where they stop paying. No, nope, that's but, Social Security. No. It's No, capped. not... No, it was in and if taxes, it wasn't period. Capped, if it wasn't capped and they paid the whole income in Social Security, Social Security would not be in trouble. But it was not just taxes. It was, or not just Social Security. It was in the whole entire, like, they only paid, like, uh, I need to find it. I think it was a TikTok. I don't know. Anyhow. But I know that there's a lot of loopholes that people can get out of taxes. And the loopholes is what makes people not pay. Because if you look at historical data, the pay amount that we're paying the highest tax bracket is 37%. Historically, 37% is very average, according to the whole world and where we are. And according to historically in America, what we've been paying, 37% is pretty good. Everybody's paying 37%. No, that's just the that's the highest bracket. Most people don't. Most people pay twelve percent to twenty two. Exactly, that's what they're saying. They're saying that thirty seven percent is the cap, right. and these millionaires are stopped paying taxes at thirty seven percent because they find ways to deduct their income. Yes, down to the twenty seven, twenty two percent. So that was that. What that's the, loopholes. That's what we need to get rid of so that they pay the thirty seven percent. Then why don't you run for something? Because there's nothing I can run for. You're the age of you can. I don't want to run. I'm good. Baby, you would do so good. You're so smart. I would not do good. Thank you, though. <sighs> but you would. I would just get pissy. <sighs> but. But I'm saying. You should run for something. We should just. Do go... you know how much Americans paid the highest tax bracket was in World War II? You told me. 95%. Yeah, you told me. That's a lot. Yeah. And then it got down to, by the 50s and 60s, it got down to 50%. And now we're at 37%. We are paying a normal amount. And according to the rest of the world, we are paying average. Well, the reason why we were paying so much in World War II. Because we had to pay for war. We were paying for the war. Yeah. 
That's why taxes started. So, That's why the IRS was created by Abraham Lincoln because he had to pay for the Civil War. There was no other way to pay it other than to put an income tax on the population. That is the only reason IRS started. It's because of wars. So we left England because we didn't want to pay taxes without representation. And then 200 years later, 100 years later, we started the IRS to tax our people because we had to pay for a war. Wars are what makes taxes change. Okay. According to history. According to the research that I've done, I've done with it. Hmm. Because that's funny because in psychology class, it says that the world stays the same... The world. The only thing that changes is the way that the world looks. Things that say stay the same are taxes, um, military, farming, and stuff like that. Like everything stays the same except for the way the world looks. Oh, Americans have always been taxed ever since the day that we signed the mm. Declaration. We have been taxed. It just changed. The okay. Civil War changed the way we were taxed. We were taxed in sales tax, excise tax, property tax before. After we were taxed on our income. That's the difference. Because we were always taxed. Taxing has never gone away ever since Egypt in the 3000 BC. We have always been taxed. It talks about it in the Bible. It talks about it all over the place. But. Where in the Bible does it talk about taxes? How many times in the Bible is it taxes? 40, 48. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I know research. This, like, you were sexy. Like, your knowledge is so sexy. 48 times it was talked about in the Bible. One of the disciples was a tax collector. That was significant because tax collectors are, like lawyers are now, they're despicable. They're the scum of the earth. You don't want to talk to a tax collector because they're going to take your money. So to have a tax collector as one of the disciples that Jesus chose was a big deal. So. Taxes are mentioned quite a bit. You're sexy. I am doing this project <laughs> for work that has got me down this rabbit hole that I have not quite gotten out of yet, but I'm trying. Hey, at least you stopped reading the Bible because... What's the shit was fucking pissing Paul me off? Paul was pissing me off. Is that why you stopped reading the Bible was because of Paul? I'm not not reading the Bible. I'm just reading the Bible through the view of other people. So I'm reading a book by Rob Bell called What is the Bible? Next I'm going to read a book called Inspired by Rachel Held Evans. Then I'm going to read a book by Raz, Reza Aslan is this the five about books, the Bible. Uh, is this the five books you want to finish by the end of the year? No. No, because no, it's I just read a, a little bit a day. Okay. But I, I had these books in mind to read about the Bible so that I can go back to the Bible with a more open mind and understand why the fuck Paul is such a mis misogynist. Because I don't want to follow somebody who's in the Bible, who all these people, religious people, say we need to follow everything in the Bible and blah, blah, blah. But when it says in the Bible that women have to be sh quiet, the women have no voice, that their husband is the only voice that they have, I don't want to read something or follow something that says that. And so I'm trying to come around and understand Paul and why he says the things that he says and what motivated him in that time. I want to understand the time that Paul lived in so that I know, okay, this is why he said that. So yes, I stopped reading the Bible because it pissed me off. <laughs> that was the question. You talked really long about it. <laughs> I love you. Hey, you got me on my soapbox, so. God. I am so in love with you. We need to do podcasts more often. We get so wrapped up in work and school that we haven't been able to do this. It's been something. It's been a lot the past few months. We've been nitpicking at each other. Well, because we're stuck in a fucking house with two teenagers. Yeah, and then we had to move and then we had to get rid of our things. And the more things we unpack and the more we get settled into our new house, the more we figure out what we threw away. <laughs> And it's just a loophole, and it's a cycle, and it's like, we left. We accomplished it. We moved from a 2,500-square-foot house to an 1,100-square-foot mobile home. We did that. And don't think negatively about mobile homes, motherfuckers. If you're judging us, we don't care. Because we don't care. Because you guess what? You know what? what? Here's the thing. Denver rent, on average, is $2,000 a month. We are paying significantly less to live in a ritzy fucking snooty ass area, Scottsdale of Colorado. Kinda. Kinda. 
but it's, it's kind of like the the line between Scottsdale and Phoenix line. That's yeah. where we're living. Because we like it here, but it's it's like we're more comfortable on Broadway. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> so I took I did today we had a detour. We had a detour because I was yelling at Elias, which is, got lost, and <laughs> which has been a lot lately. Like he doesn't like to be told to do things because he feels that he's superior sometimes, and it drives me crazy. So like when I tell him you need to do this, you need to do that. Because he's 15 years old, and I'm like, you need to, it's a, like last night, it's 1 o'clock in the morning, you do not need to be eating, we have to be at grandma's house at, mi- at noon, so no, you don't need a snack, go to bed, because you just had pie or ice cream, whatever you had, and he's like, I want this, and I'm like, no, so he got pissed off at me, so like, we've been, just been bu- hitting heads lately, and it's been going on for like a week, usually we like, him and I are really good, and we're on the same team most of the time, but this time it's not, so we got in an argument, and I was yelling at him, and we were getting off the freeway, and I missed my turn. And then, good thing we did, because we saw a beautiful part uh-huh. of Denver. And, like, I'm like, why didn't we move here? So, basically, the strip on Broadway is fucking, like, the Mill Avenue or, like, Roosevelt. Um, Mill Avenue of, of Tempe or, like, Roosevelt of Phoenix, Arizona or, like... yeah. Um, because they have these little restaurants and the little stores and shops, like, you know, that little downtown areas have. But we're like, good thing we got lost because this place, like, I was like, why are the, I was like, why is Taco Bell looking so fancy? Because it's the first thing I saw. I was like, why is Taco Bell fancy? Why is Wendy so fancy? But then we... Then we moved up a little bit more, and these shops were so fucking cute. I was like, why the fuck are we living in fucking Broomfield when we could be fucking living here, wherever this is? But it's fine, because we could just drive in or yeah, take a fucking have, train right. in. I mean, we got a really good deal on our house, and, you know, we're not paying very much Yeah, because you know what? It was all. very inexpensive to live here, but it's kind of like, because of it, it is a mobile home. But, but the really, houses around us are like 500k, you guys. Yeah. So it's really, I mean, it's not. They have a bad stereotype, but it's just that it's a stereotype. Yeah, because, like we're living here because we're being frugal, and there's nothing wrong with it. And I have to eat a whole pie of humble pie, so that's what we're doing here. And it's cute because we get we have our little neighborhood that we're in, we do. and it's just like you know people talk down about it, but. It is just a regular neighborhood, honestly. We're a little bit closer yeah. to the houses than usual because it is a mobile park, but uh, we don't really And it's pretty s- magical, see the animals that are around <gasps> here. When we were leaving today, there was a squirrel in the yard, and it and was, like, big, eating it's stuff. A, it's an adorably chubby one because it's almost hibernation time, so all the animals are getting their winter fat. And then especially the freaking, your best friends. My friends. Your fat I, friends. Yeah, I have, we have fat friends that live up the road. They're prairie dogs. And they are the cutest. I am so in love with my fat friends. But every time we pass them, Tease is like, oh, look, it's your fat friends. And I'm like, oh, it's my fat friends. And there's a lot of them. There's like. hundred. hundred. At least. Yeah. And this is just like this big field right by our neighborhood going out of the neighborhood and it I don't even know there's like some building there. I want to go explore that. It's a it's a pediatric clinic. No, the big white building that's where in the church? No, no, no. The big, oh, oh, the one that's empty? Yeah, the I empty building that's tagged on. Yeah. I want to go see what that is. Okay. Let's go explore tomorrow. I have some homework to do. We'll see. We need to get done with. We have to set up for Christmas. We haven't even done that. The kids are going to sleep. Okay, look at the time it is right now. 10.30. Wow, it's early. For you, it's late. Because I've been going to bed at 3 for two weeks because I've been doing homework. But I get up at 6 and I read for a few hours. And I love my time because I get to read. So here's the thing. Tomorrow, the kids will probably not wake up until like noon. And that's okay because then we can go get a Christmas tree and get the stuff for Christmas cookies. So that means you and I have the morning together. We could make a nice, cute little breakfast together. And I then... have bacon thought out. You did thought out? Uh-huh. Oh, because I was fridge. thinking about pulling it out. That's what my thought was on the way home today. I was in the fridge. But anyhow, 
Um, we could go for a walk, take Mocha for a walk, and see what happens. Just kidding.